Now that we have learned all about the life and art of the famous woman artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, we're gonna create our own Georgia O'Keeffe art. Now, if you're lucky enough to have some flowers to look at, whether they're real or they're fake flowers, that would be excellent. Because remember, Georgia O'Keeffe started painting flowers because she lived in the city and she thought people were so busy and she wanted them to slow down and enjoy nature. So her goal was to take a flower and instead of painting it the way that everybody would see it, she painted it abstract. So that means she took something that was real and she changed it around so people would stop and look at her art. So what she would do is she would take the flower and instead of drawing the whole flower with the stem and the leaf, she would focus right in, maybe in the center of the flower or on the edge of the flower. It was almost like she was a little bug crawling on the flower. What would that flower look like? It would look big, big, big. So what I would like you to do is really think about that. Think about being a little bug and crawling on a flower. What would it look like? This is gonna take a little practice. Sometimes when we draw flowers so big and abstract, like Georgia O'Keeffe did, they almost just look like lines and different colors, and that's okay. So what I would like you to do first is to practice. So today you're going to need a pencil and two pieces of white paper. We're gonna start with one piece. And what I would like you to do is prepare the paper so that you can practice. So using the bottom, bending it all the way up to the top, creasing it down. I believe that practice makes perfect. The more you do something, the better you get at it. Just like swimming or riding your bike or reading, same with art. So I love to practice before I do anything. Now that I have four little squares with the lines, I can practice drawing the flower. So instead of making the whole flower, if I was doing this flower, maybe I pretend I'm a little, bu little by crawling right by the center. That circle would look really, really big. So maybe I want to start by making a nice big circle in the middle. And then I could make the petals that go off. Now remember, it doesn't have to look like a real flower. You could change it a little bit. Maybe your petals are big, maybe they're small. Maybe you have some big petals, some small petals. The biggest thing that you want to think about today is making your flower look big. So see how I made my flower look really, really big? It even goes off the edge. And you could even think about maybe making some designs, maybe there's some little lines or seeds in your flower. It's kind of up to you. Maybe there's a little design on the edge of your flower. The, this is your flower and you are thinking of your ideas. Now you can also go back and be inspired by some of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings. But notice how big I made that first flower. I did not start with a little circle and see the whole petal. That would be too small for this lesson. We want to think big, not small. See all the extra room? I want to challenge you. It's almost like you're looking at it through a magnifying glass. Everything looks big. If I was doing something like this flower, where there isn't a circle middle, maybe the lines just go up like this. There's so many different ways that you can create your abstract flower, okay? You could even create your own flower, maybe a flower that has a bunch of different circles in the middle and then the petals that go out this way. Maybe they're wavy line petals. There's so many different ways, like I said, that you can create your abstract flower. What I would like you to do today is practice those so that you have several different kinds of abstract flowers. 
When you have your favorite one, you're going to take that other piece of paper and you're going to draw it on the paper. So you have like one final big one. I kind of like this one where you can see it in the corner. So instead of making a circle in the middle, I only see part of the circle in the side and then the petals go all the way from the circle to the edge. And maybe I want to start thinking about what colors this is going to be. Maybe each petal is a different color. Maybe there are petals inside of petals or lines inside of lines. Really thinking about George O'Keefe and making my flower nice and big. There is nothing that you need to share this week. So just work on practicing big flowers and having a final drawing for next week when we will add color and share on the art Padlet. Have fun artists!